if you're new to budgeting and getting out of debt and staying out of debt forever, or maybe you're in Financial Peace University and just got your free trial of every dollar plus, and you want to know, does it work? How to set up your account and how to do a budget. Well, you've come to the right video because I'm going to walk you through everything. Hi, I'm Wendy Valencia. My husband, Mauricio, my six-year-old, Melina, and I are on a debt-free journey to pay off more than $300,000 worth of debt. And that does not include our house. We are about halfway through the process and we are here to motivate you on your debt-free journey. So if you are interested in following us and being motivated while you pay off your debt, click the big old red subscribe button down below and we will support each other and get through this together. Mauricio and I have been using every dollar for over two years now and I love it. I mean, love like deep down in my soul. Like it keeps me motivated every day, sort of love. I have been budgeting for years, not necessarily trying to pay off debt, but budgeting. And I was always a spreadsheet girl. And I loved spreadsheets. I still love spreadsheets. I might have a secret like place in my heart for spreadsheets, but spreadsheets made Mauricio's eyes roll back in his head. So when I decided to try every dollar because I am the nerd in the family and I am the one that does the budgets, he is like the quintessential free spirit. So when I decided that I was going to try every dollar, he was like, okay, whatever. And shockingly, he loves it. It's easy for him to understand. He pays attention in our budget meetings. He's totally engaged. It's amazing. He's still not a nerd, but he doesn't mind it like he used to. So let's jump on the computer and go through connecting your every dollar account, how you link your bank accounts and creating your first budget and then dragging and dropping your budget items. Now I am specifically going to be working with the desktop version of every dollar. And you can do this on your phone. I have not done a phone tutorial because predominantly I use my desktop. But if that interests you, leave me a comment down below and I absolutely can do a phone tutorial. So you can just scroll through. I do have an iPhone, so I can't help you with any other version than the iPhone version. But you know, hey, we're a Mac family. So the first thing you're gonna do is go to everydollar.com and you're going to click on the big orange button that says sign up. It's free. And you're going to enter your name, your email address, and you're going to create a password. Your password have, must have at least eight characters, one capital letter, one special character, and one number. And then you verify your password and enter your zip code. And then it's going to ask you to verify your account through your email. So you go to your email account and you're going to click the big orange verify your email. And it'll open up the take me to my budget. Now notice you can do this on Android and Apple if you want to work on your phone to do this. So take me to my budget. And at this point, it is going to allow you to do your 15 day free trial. It gives you the items comparing the free version to the plus version. And I do love the plus version, so I highly recommend it. And we're going to do our 15 day free trial. And then you can cancel anytime within the first 15 days and they will not charge you. But after the 15th day, you will be billed. And then you're going to enter your debit card number. And then it lets you start connecting your banks. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to connect our bank. Obviously, I've taken out actually connecting our bank information because, you know, 
that's not very safe for me to be putting that out on the internet. So I'm skipping the part where you enter all your passcodes. And then once you go to connect your account, it's going to send you a security code and you're going to have to go to your personal email account, which is connected to that bank account. So it's different from your every dollar maybe, or maybe it's the same. And you'll enter the code that they give you. And then it will import all of your bank information. Now I'm connecting our sinking fund account. And once it's all connected, it's time to start your budget. You're gonna click on create your budget. And then you're going to start entering your information. Now, what you're going to do for this is you are going to enter the amount of money that you anticipate coming in for the month because we budget for the month before it begins. So if you are starting this in July, you are going to start your budget for August. So under income, you're going to put all of your anticipated income. So maybe your income, maybe a spouse's income. And then next, you're going to start filling out your budget. So Mr. Ramsey actually gives you some great categories to remind you of all of the different things that you're going to need to add in the month. So you want to add all of those, go ahead and fill them out and the anticipated amounts. If you need to change the item, what you're going to do is you're going to click directly on it and then you, it allows you to go ahead and change the words. If you want to delete a category, maybe it's something you don't use. See that little trash can? That allows you to delete, and then you're gonna go ahead and fill out the rest of your budget. Now, for us, the lifestyle category, it doesn't really apply. We don't have any of those items. We don't really do any of those items. So we actually are gonna go ahead and delete that. And you do that by clicking on the title of the category. Now, for my family, we don't budget by groceries and household items, that is super complicated. We go to grocery stores and we buy grocery supplies, we buy household cleaning supplies, we buy hair and makeup, whatever, what have you at these stores. So what we do in our budget is we budget by store. So we budget $100 a month for Giant, $50 a month for Trader Joe's. And again, these aren't our real numbers. If you'd like to see our real numbers, go ahead and go to our main channel. And every month I go over our budget in detail as to what we spend where. If you would like to add a new category, you want to click on the add a group item. We budget for our daughter separately. So we enter the various items that apply only to our daughter in one budget line item. So camp, school supplies, clothing, all of that. that so we know how much we're spending on our daughter. And then you just add items to it. Remember, this is your budget. You can do it any way you want. And then we like to have our debt category as the very last item in our budget. Now we're going to add our debts and I'm going to teach you how to do your debt snowball in every dollar. So the first thing you're going to do is order your debt smallest to largest with the smallest balance being the first one you're going to enter. In this case, it's going to be credit card number one and our balance, our hypothetical balance is $100 and our hypothetical minimum payment is $10. And then our second debt is credit card number two, because I mean, come on, who only has one credit card? 
And on this card, we owe $150 and our minimum payment is $15. Our third debt is a bank loan. And on this loan, we owe $250 and our minimum payment is $50 a month. And our fourth and final debt is a school loan. And we owe $1,000 on our school loan. Our minimum payment is only $7 because they want you to pay on the school loan for forever. The first thing we're going to do is we are going to put minimum payments on all of our debts except for our smallest one. So let's go ahead and add in all of our minimum payments. And if you notice up at the top under June 2018, it says we have $258 left to budget because every dollar is a zero-based budget and they want every single dollar allocated to something. So we're going to enter the full balance in credit card one, and that leaves us $173 still to play with. Now our full balance for credit card two is $150. So we're going to go ahead and pay off credit card two this month as well. And that leaves us $73 to put towards our third debt. And hey, look at that. It's an every dollar budget, which means you've made a zero based budget. And amazingly, you've just paid off two debts in your first month. So now let's move on and create next month's budget. So you're going to go up to the top next to the month. There's a little drop down arrow and you are going to find the following month and click on it. And it says start planning for whatever the month is. Now, the bonus about this is it's going to take all of your numbers from the previous month and put them in the new budget. So what you're going to do is you're just going to go through and delete out items and change payments. And up at the top, it'll tell you how much money you have left to budget. Now, when you get down to your debts, because you're not operating in the month that you're actually in, you're operating in the following month, your debts are not going to carry over until the first of the month. This is one of the big things that Mr. Ramsey focuses on. He doesn't want you to be operating in the next month when you need to be working on this month. So it will not allow you to work on next month. And then you can move back and forth between budgets by clicking that drop down arrow. Now we're going to go over dragging and dropping. This is called reconciling your budget. And you must reconcile if you want to be successful budgeting. You, over time, you will become skilled at reconciling your budget. And every dollar plus makes it so easy. Our bank accounts import the data every 24 hours and it tells you what items have occurred in the last 24 hours. You will notice here we have five items from Navy Federal that have imported into our Capital One 360 bank account. So we have sent money between the accounts and you see you can split edit or delete there. Splitting an item would be if you need to track it across two areas. For example, you have bought something at the grocery store and you need it to be groceries and household supplies. And now we are going to drag and drop them into the appropriate planned areas. Now let's say you make a mistake. You're going to go ahead and open up each individual transaction and you see those six dots to the left of the transaction. You're going to click on that 
and it will open up the item. You're going to click on the red circle with the line and then save your changes. This allows you to delete an item that you have uh, you have put in the wrong location. This is going to happen. So make sure you know how to do this. It took me a while to figure this out, actually. And you can see here that it actually added the transactions back in so you can put them in new locations. And that is how you use Every Dollar Plus. The one thing that's really important for you guys to remember is budgeting is not easy and it is gonna take a while. So my recommendation is that if you do not have more than a 15 day free trial of every dollar, go ahead and start with the free version and get used to it and then upgrade to the free trial. It's going to take a good three months for you guys to understand and truly get budgeting. So you're going to have overages. I highly, highly, highly recommend putting a cushion in there pick an amount that you think you're going to screw up on, maybe $100 if you have a smaller budget or $500 if you have a bigger budget, because I am not kidding you, for the first year, things are going to come up and they're going to surprise you. And because you're working on a zero-based budget, you're not going to have a lot of extra money. So you don't want to have to dive into your emergency fund every month to pay these things. So put in a little cushion plan for unexpected expenses. We call it the, well, I can't say what we call it, but I can show you what we call it. That's what we do. We put in a hundred dollars cushion every month for things that just come up that we didn't know were going to come up. So I'll see you in the next one. See ya. We're out.